Aldrich, our sales engineer. You engineered any sales yet? Well, I'm working on a very hot one right now. Oh, yeah? Name it. Did you ever hear of Meeker of the Manhasset News? Oh, boy, you're wasting your time. He's been signed with one of our competitors for years. You don't stand a chance. You know, I'm so confident that I'll land Meeker that I'll bet you 20 bucks, too. <laughs> 20 bucks. Okay. You know, have you got a deal with the best money? <laughs> you tell Dora I want to take her out to dinner tonight on your 20 bucks. License <laughs> uh, to steal. <laughs> Old tool? There you are, the Meeker contract. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Twenty bucks, please. Put it there, Aldrich, old boy. Anybody can sign up Meeker is a super salesman. That's wonderful, Doug. You see, Mike, I told you to have faith. Well, I'll admit, I'll admit I was wrong. You'll make a great addition to the organization. Just as soon as I can afford it, I'm going to put his name on the door in big gold letters. Uh, that won't be necessary. Just pay me the twenty bucks, please. Put it there, Doug, old boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, uh, Dora will take care of this money. You know something? This calls for a real celebration. How about it, Dora? I'm going to take you to dinner tonight. 21, the works. Well, what have you got to celebrate? It was my selling ability that landed Meeker. Dora's going to dinner with me. That's right, Mike. Doug and I are going out tonight. I thought you didn't socialize with employees. Oh, when Doug and I go out, it's strictly business. Isn't it, honey? Strictly, baby. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Doug. You have such nice manners, you know. The men today just aren't as chivalrous as they used to be. Well, it's not difficult to be nice to you. Of all the women I've known, you stand out like a diamond on a tray of costume jewelry. <laughs> You're not just saying that because I happen to be running the office. I'm saying that because I love you. <laughs> and to prove it, let's run off to Greenboro and get married. I know a judge who stays open all night. Oh, not so fast, Doug. I've only known you three days. And six hours and 27 minutes. <laughs> How about it? Greenboro? Now look, Tim, I'm writing a story on polygamy, and I wonder if you have a juicy case that I could kind of feature. Well, yeah. Yeah, we've been after one guy who's been married 11 times. Never bothers to get a divorce. Maybe he doesn't have time to get a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been after this guy for years. He has a lot of different aliases. He's a real smooth cookie. What's his name? Around here, we call him Love Him and Leave Him Anderson. You got a picture of him? Uh, I'll get one, send it over to you in the morning. I'll give you a complete rundown on him. Thanks a lot, Tim. That'll be a big help. Oh, one other thing. This Love Him and Leave Him, like all these guys, he's got one peculiarity. Every time he gets married, he insists on being married in Greenboro, North Carolina. <laughs> Greenboro, North Carolina. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. <laughs> almost 10 o'clock. Where's our female tight boss? I don't know. The last time I saw her, she was out on business with our Mr. Aldrich. Oh, uh... Oh, well, how do you do, sir? Anything I can do for you? Well, uh, yes. I'm, uh, John Meeker of the Manhasset News. Oh, yes, yes, of course, Mr. <laughs> Meeker. Uh, welcome to HBS, and thank you very much for the contract. Can uh -huh. I show you around the place? Oh, the no, 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 thanks. Meeker. I saw the place when I was here yesterday. You, you were here yesterday? Oh, yes, I came in to sign up for your news service. Sign up? You Mr. Aldrich didn't go out to Manhasset to sign you up. Oh, no, no, no. nobody came out to see me. I came in on my own. <laughs> That's very interesting. <laughs> yes, well, I just dropped in to pick up my receipt. Your receipt? Uh, receipt for what? Well, I gave that Aldridge fellow $135 in cash, but I didn't get a receipt. <laughs> you gave him cash? For what? He wanted it that way. That's why he gave me the 10% discount. Oh, well, of course. I'll, I'll take that up with uh, Mr. Aldrich as soon as he comes in. And, and don't you worry, Mr. Meeker. You'll have your receipt in tomorrow's mail. Is that all right? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. that's fine. There's no hurry. I just need it for my income tax records. That's all. Goodbye. I understand. Of course. Yes. Cash. Receipt. Ten percent. Well, looks like the old Smoothie has got his hands in the cash register already. Yeah, you're telling me. Look, Dave, uh, don't say anything to Dora about it until I tell you, okay? You too. Uh, Chief, I forgot to give this to you. Uh, Lieutenant Becker sent that over from the police department. Oh, yeah, it's about the polygamy case. I'm in no mood for polygamy with a crook running around the office. 
Uh, uh, honest, Mr. O'Toole, I, I'm not a crook. All, all I ever took it was, it was just a box of paper clips for my sister. I'm, I'm not talking about you. I've got a big crook to handle. Now go on back to the Nimio room. <laughs> oh, no. You know who this is? Well, sure. That's, that's Aldrich, our sales engineer. Yeah, that's Aldrich. That's also Love and Liebman Anderson, the, the most notorious polygamist in the country. That's who that is, right there. And at the door, she certainly hired a very talented man. <laughs> what are you going to do about him, Mike? What am I going to do? I, well, I don't know, but I'll, believe me, I'll, I'll think of something I'm going to do. I'll... Good morning, everybody. I'm sorry I'm late, but I overslept. Well, that's, uh, that's perfectly all right, Dora. You're the boss, you know. You can come and go as you please, <laughs> anything you like. Oh, how's our uh, sales engineer? Oh, he's doing fine. He's finishing up Long Island today. <laughs> how's the McBee story coming? Oh, that's, uh, that's uh, coming along fine. I wanted to talk to you about that. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to, to write it and then read it and hear all your reactions. That'll be wonderful. I'd like Mr. Aldridge to hear it, too. Uh, do you think he can make himself available? He will if I tell him. <laughs> well, you tell him to, because I'm going to value his opinion of his expose very highly. <laughs> <laughs> That was uh, pretty good detective work, if I say so myself. Follow through on that, Jack. You know, I'd make a pretty good cop, huh? Well, now, don't rush things. We haven't got the man yet. No, Dora's going to have him at the office at 3 o'clock. Now, how about you? And have you contacted the wives? I've got most of them. Oh, good. I'll see you at the office at 2.30, then. Okay, don't forget. <laughs> Bring the handcuff. Oh, <laughs> Dora, you said that Olive should be here at 3 o'clock. Well, he promised to be here. He's generally very punctual. No, but you're the boss. You told him. Sorry I'm late. I stopped at Tiffany's to look at a wedding ring. Oh, <laughs> Tiffany's. You'd uh, better watch out for Tiffany's. They have a burglar alarm there. <laughs> well, uh, let's get down to business. Now, listen, staff, I've gathered you here. I want to read an article that I have written to get your reaction. You understand? I'm going to read it and we'll see what you think. And it's called Polygamy in America. Well, that won't get us any customers. We'll see about that. All right, I'm going to read it. <laughs> Wives who share their husbands often go a lifetime without learning the truth about their marriages. For every polygamist caught, 200 lead successful lives. That's a very good opening paragraph. Don't you think so, Doug? I don't like the subject. <laughs> it has impact. <laughs> yeah. Now, it is the opinion of Lieutenant Tim Becker of the New York Police Department that the most notorious polygamist at large today is a smooth, clean-cut looking young man of about 30 who is known as Loveman Liebman Anderson, alias Danny Arno, alias Douglas Aldrich, presently employed as sales engineer for the headline press service. Mike, what is this, a practical joke? No. This is a frame-up. Oh, no, you don't, Loveman Liebman. I've Man. never been married in my life. You haven't, huh? We'll see about that. Okay, Tim. <laughs> Come out here, lover boy. Come on, come on. <laughs> and look, Tim, I want to charge this guy with stealing $135. And I gave him $25 of my own money. You oh, too? And I won't even dine for a cup of coffee. Come on, <laughs> woman, let's leave him. I'll never trust another woman in my life. <laughs> Take a letter. Yes, boss. Yours of the... Mike. Yes. Chase me around the office. Oh, Troll. Hmm? Brought you a little present. A present from the police department? Yep. Got a check here for $500 made out to Michael O'Toole. A reward for the capture of Love'em and Leave'em Anderson, alias Douglas Allridge. Well, what do you think of that, Dora? $500. Oh, oh. <laughs> proves one thing. What's that? At least we made a profit while I was running the business. 